Spirit is presented by Moon Guide. Plan your best hunt. Every bow hunter knows that success in the deer woods is a direct result of practice, patience, persistence, and some good old fashioned hard work. Being prepared is one thing, but what happens when the season opener hits and you still don't have a target buck to focus on? Well, you do just what Brady Snyder did and you hunt one down. In 2018, Brady Snyder harvested this giant old war horse of a buck during the red moon. And then in 2019, Brady harvested not one, but two bucks over 170 in the same season, both on the red moon also. When 2020 rolled around, Brady once again put the moon guide to work and harvested this giant 6x5. I'm curious to see. 2021 season was a little bit different because I had deer that just plain disappeared, which happens to everybody. Um, just disappeared off cameras, never had sightings. So I was, I was panicked a little bit. I was in a bit of a scramble because I, I typically go after a target deer and not, not just go deer hunting. So 2021, I really am just gonna go through the motions uh, and, and look for that target. You know, started putting in food plots, started making mock scrapes and running the trail cameras and just, just hoping for something to show up because I'm looking and I'm not finding it yet. Okay. Make sure you drink your water. Drink my water. Kind of hot out. The first good encounter came uh, the latter part of October. Uh, had a deer that I named Tank. It was, is a really old, big eight pointer. And if he'd have came close enough, he might have been in trouble. However, he stayed back, looked at the decoy, watched the doe look at the decoy, and turned around and walked out of my life. The second good encounter I had in late October uh, came from just a fence line set, really. A friend of mine said that he was about to start combining a 40-acre cornfield. And I said, well, do you mind if I set up on that fence line? He said, no, go ahead. So I set up, didn't see very much until right at the end of the day and a pretty good buck stepped out. And I looked at him, I watched him. He was around a bunch of does and I knew that he wasn't gonna come that night. So got out of the tree, reviewed the footage, Saw that it was a pretty good deer, but it wasn't the deer that got, got me excited. It wasn't the deer that I was, I was ready to target. The third encounter came, I went to a different location and I knew of some good deer there, but I was hoping that the great deer that I wasn't seeing was gonna come by. And I had a really good encounter with a, with a four-year-old that I really hope makes it. This is one of them deer that I really hope breaks every tine off, break, break off the main beam, if you will. You can tell that he can, he can sense that something's not right, but not enough to alert him that a human is there. So kudos to Ozonix. He came just like he was supposed to. I think he was a four-year-old and a short G4 on his right. Cold front's got him going nuts. Great hunt. I made a call to a friend of mine that helps me out with uh, my footage and dumping cards and stuff, Joel Vandicroll, and said, hey, I gotta dump cards. I'm gonna head back to central Iowa and get these dumped. And that's when he told me that he thinks that I should be hunting a deer that he just laid eyes on. And he, he named him the Duke just because of, of his stature and how, how he stood in, in the herd. He started going in and telling me, you know, all the details of what he'd seen in the last month. Gain whatever information he had on this property. I said, who do we got to talk to to access? And he said, it's public land. And I packed up at 10.30 on November 1st and headed south to central Iowa. This week's Red Moon Alert highlights Blake Alcatib's giant Texas buck from 2021 taken on the Red Moon. 
Not only is the 7x7 Texas new typical compound bow record, smashing the previous number one by nearly 15 inches, Blake's trophy was just named the 32nd recipient of Buckmaster's Golden Laurel Citation. Congrats, Blake! This fall, be sure to enter your Red Moon Kill in the first annual Moon Guide Big Buck Contest, presented by Big and J Long Range Attractants. With over $20,000 in cash and prizes given away to the winning Moon Guide app members, your hunt could also be featured on Team 200. To check out this incredible list of prizes and contest rules, scan the QR code or visit moonguide.com for details. Team 200 is brought to you by Osseo Gear, nature's most lethal camouflage, by Whitetail Institute, research equals results, Hoyt, get serious, get Hoyt, Ozonix, undetectable, undeniable, Lone Wolf Custom Gear, the innovator of mobile hunting, Quiet Cat, all terrain, all electric, Pope and Young, preserve, promote, protect, and by Black Eagle Arrows. Can you improve on the number one food plot product in the world? The Whitetail Institute has done just that with Imperial Whitetail Fusion. By combining Imperial Whitetail Clover with the outstanding performance of Wine of Perennial Forage Chicory, you get greater tonnage, higher protein, and enhanced performance during heat and droughty conditions. This premium blend contains up to 44% antler building protein, is great for frost seeding, and can last up to five years on a single planting. Remember, research equals results with the Whitetail Institute. Enjoy your best hunting ever with Imperial Fusion. This segment is brought to you by Luminoc. Light them up. With a hot tip from his good friend Joel Vandekral, Brady now sets his sights on this world-class whitetail that Joel is aptly named the Duke. So Joel and I met in 2015. We met through fishing. Just started fishing all the time. And it was mostly at night because we both have families and we spend our days with our families. We would sacrifice sleep for fishing. Fast forward a couple years and we start working for Striker, Striker Ice. From then on, Joel really took to photography. We get to go on a lot of really, really interesting fishing trips, and he's very, very talented. He, he would almost rather capture photos of me catching fish than actually catching the fish himself, which works in my favor. But uh, no, he, he is very, very talented, and he enjoys it every single day. So he shows me this footage that he's got of this deer, and he's, he's, he actually told me that he'd been out watching in the morning and night and has a pretty good idea of where his core area is, call it that. It's not a very big piece. It's, it shouldn't be that hard to narrow this deer down to his, his core. And I said, who do we got to talk to to access? And he said, it's public land. I spent the next six days very, very hard in this, in this area that I thought was his core. And Joel is seeing this deer regularly, morning, evening, even during the day at some points. But it still feels in the back of my mind like I'm hunting a ghost. I had a couple good encounters leading up to November 14th. It was, it was a hunt that it, it lives, it's burned into my mind because of how intense it was.
Positioned smack dab in the middle of the Duke's core area, Brady goes through a short calling sequence, hoping to lure the giant from the thick cover. And it doesn't take long before he gets a response. Optics for Team 200 are provided by Athlon Optics. See their complete line of sharp, tight, and price just right binoculars, rangefinders, rifle scopes, and spotting scopes at AthlonOptics.com. What does it take to fire up a mature buck? Estrosin. Did you know that estrogen levels of a white-tailed doe at peak estrus is over 30 picograms per milliliter. This level of estrogen is what you need to get a big buck's attention and every batch of raw peak estrus is tested by an independent lab and certified to contain estrogen levels of 30 plus. Look at that, what a giant. Just 100% peak estrus and 100% money back guarantee. I put some raw scent, uh, dough and heat estrus all around that decoy. That buck just came right into it. Put a little bit on. This segment is brought to you by Hoyt. Get serious. Get Hoyt. Brady's calling sequence has gotten the attention of a big buck in the middle of the Duke's core area. And even though he can't see what deer it is, he's definitely got him worked into a frenzy. So, reviewing the footage after that just happened, it was as exciting as it was, and in the moment was even more exciting. However, it was a different deer, and it was not actually the Duke. Fast forward to November 22nd is a day that I will not forget because it's a red moon, and it is the first day that I got to lay eyes on the Duke. He's got a doe pin down 300 yards out in this chisel plow cornfield. He's fending off seven other bucks. It was a show that I'll never forget. So we just sat and enjoyed what this buck was doing. He's starting to chase all these other bucks off. November 30th. I was at work and my phone dinged with a trail camera picture and the Duke, in fact, had hit that uh, raw frozen sense mock scrape that I made. And looking to the next few days, shotgun season is coming. And again, it's public land, so I don't know what is gonna happen once, once the Orange Army starts coming in. The two times that we saw him on this specific route going from north to south, and it was always on a stiff north wind. So the, day, the 30th was a stiff north wind, and he, he went south. December 3rd, I finally got the north wind, the stiffer north wind that I was waiting to, to dive into where I thought I was going to get this deer killed. Uh, I dumped the 1.0 because it was a little heavier. I wanted to be a little quicker and quieter. Uh, so I picked up the ambush platform from Lone Wolf Custom Gear and uh, put the saddle to work. The ambush platform, the saddle, ready to go, comfortable, enjoying the evening. It was fairly slow and I panned around glassing in front of me and I catch movement of, of a doe. 33 days of hunting a ghost, seeing him one time, the Duke shows up right here, right now.
This segment is brought to you by Banks Outdoors. Hunting blinds, deer feeders, and watering systems. For over two decades, the Moon Guide has been the number one rated tool for serious hunters, telling you when giant whitetails will move and where you need to hunt. Now available as a mobile app, the Moon Guide gives you parcel data, enhanced weather radar, and the deadly red moon data. My scouting tells me where to hunt. The Moon Guide tells me when. Our best day hunting ever. Two unkillable bucks, both taken on the red moon. Two giant bucks last year, both taken on the red moon. Plan your best hunt at moonguide.com. Team 200 is brought to you by Moon Guide. Plan your best hunt. Raw frozen scents, 53 times more effective. Whitetails Unlimited, working for an American tradition. Luminoc, light them up. Athlon Optics, ridiculously good optics. Banks Outdoors, hunting blinds, deer feeders, and watering systems. And by Radical Archery Designs, proudly made in America. After starting his season without a target animal to focus on, Brady has spent the better part of the season hunting down a mega buck his good friend put him on. Brady knows big deer like this don't come easy, and they get this size for good reason. They are masters at the game of survival. All of his hard work finally pays off on this crisp December evening, though, as Hunter and Hunted finally cross paths. 33 days of hunting a ghost, seeing him one time, the Duke shows up right here, right now. I thought the shot looked good. I would have liked to have had it a little far, more farther forward. And it was, it was pretty quiet. I didn't hear him crash after I let the arrow go. Uh, I could see the Luminoc, you know, laying. It, it was a complete pass through. I could see it laying there. Finally, the RX-5 got to eat. I can't believe that. 413. I knew he was better. The shot looked good. I just shot him. Alright, here's the arrow. Normal custom gear ambush platform. Goes right on there. My mini sticks with eighters. Go on the side. Bow on a sling. Andre DeQuisto, I mean, call him a mentor because I've, I've listened to a lot of things that he said and took it to heart. And when you get aggressive and dive in, it works. Holy cow. It's <laughs> awesome. Hey. Right? Give me a good job, baby. High Holy five, brother. Cow. Wow. So to recap a little bit, this season was a roller coaster. The, the typical highs and lows of bow season. It started out without a target. It started out with failed food plot attempts to having decent encounters to not seeing a deer I wanted to shoot to going into this public property with all the adversity of other hunters and you know trying to overcome all these odds and then for it to come together on December 3rd, 30 minutes before early archery season closes, and with a hot doe to boot, I mean, that it's just, it's an all-timer of a story. At a loss for words still. I can't believe it happened <laughs> on literally the last day before gun season. A couple things that I would like to say. One, first and foremost, thank God for just being able to, to hunt deer like this. And second, I have to thank Joel Vandekroll for that phone call to come try to hunt this deer. Without you, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been down there to hunt it. So thank you.
closed captioning for Team 200 provided by Quiet Cat. No matter what you do in the woods, do it with complete stealth, and you will increase your chances for success with Quiet Cat. All terrain, all electric.